that's two of us because I don't know how to take it apart either but I think we'll have a look and see what it's all about can't be that hard can it it's only nuts and bolts first of all I think we'll get rid of some weight Okay, now on the end of that there's a nut, I'll just show you. Now I'm just going to whip that locking nut off because possibly there might be something hiding behind there that gives us a clue how to take it apart but I could be wrong because I usually am. It looks like an 11 16 socket will do the job nicely. Anybody under the age of 30 has probably got no idea what we're talking about. Well, that's a bit of luck. I best keep this somewhere safe, I don't want to lose it. Does this come off? And it does. There's a lovely spine detail there. As you can see. And there's two little Allen Ed bolts, so I think we'll whip them off. Having a think about it, I've decided it may be better to remove this and take it over to the bench so we can have a better look at what's happening underneath. I just need to detach this from the main body, from the saddle. Now I would have thought it would have been a 9 16 because an half inch is too tight but it turns out a 9 16 on my lathe is too much slack. Strangely enough a metric size fits 13 mil. So just a matter now of taking these off. So the compound slide has now been unbolted. It's a good opportunity for me to have a ganders as well and maybe give it a good clean and a service. When's the last time you serviced yours? Exactly. Well that's a story for us so far. Right, I think we'll take that over to the bench. You can see the arrangement there, the sliding arrangement there. Maybe I shouldn't have moved them, I'll be able to line them up now. Looks like that needs a cleaning oil too. I think I'll give it a bit of a clean first. As it's a bit icky. It's always nice to work on stuff that's a little bit cleaner. And also we can see what we're doing. Right, so on the end there, Alan Key needed, Alan Key needed, Alan Key needed. Don't think it'd be too hard to take apart that. Five thirty-twos, whatever that means. But that seems to be the size for the Allen head cap bolts. And I have just pre-loosened them because it was quite tight. Just for the purpose of the video. Put that there. Don't want to lose them. Oh, all fingers and thumbs. See if I can get a bit of the action for you. There we go. So this plate should now come off. And it does. Nothing special. That may release this thread now because I believe you see that that bushing there, the plate was stopping the bushing from coming off. So this should just unwind now. It's 
just not often I'm right. There we go. I'll give that a good and cleaning inspection. It doesn't look too bad for wear. Does look a bit of wear in the middle, but after all, it's nearly 60 year old. So I'm presuming these two slide apart now. No, something stopping it. Ah, oh, yes. I bet the other way. I just want to go the other way. I might have to undo the uh, gib, or is it the jib strips? I can never tell what they're called. I might take a look up at the pressure off now. Oh, that one's spinning. That one's done for. That might be a little job to look at then. No, it's not for coming off. I think I'll have to take that off then. Is it a 532? Seems to be. Seems to be a worn one. There might be some guns in that, I'll have to clean it out. Well I've just tried a 4mm metric and it doesn't fit and the female is nowhere near. So that leaves option B. If in doubt give it a clout. It might just be, it's open, it might just be, nope. It was just crusty, as we say in the trade. <laughs> now then, how would I get that out from the It's much difference, does it? Hmm. Still none the wiser. Let me have a think. So, whipping that bolt out has made absolutely no difference. So I think we now need to take this gib. Or oh, is it jib strip? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, guys. So I'll just clean these crusty, well-filled Arnold bolts out. Oh yeah. There's years of crud in there. You can tell this has not been off for a long time. Oh dear. Nope, it's not moving. What I don't want to do is round it off, but we'll never get anywhere. I hope you're all taking notes so to put it back together again because I don't know. <laughs> well, they all certainly look the same, and I think I have to separate them. They're all looking the same now. Right. Now there is one in the middle. Now I thought maybe I'd have to cut that down, but luckily you can get to it through the hole there. He says. Wherever it's gone. There. You can reach the middle one. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, 
Okay, as predicted, the middle one is slightly tricky. It's not square on, it's, a, it's slightly offset. So you need an Allen key or an end like that. The ball end Allen key. So you can go in at the angle. Got you. But that's going to be nice to put back in as well. Okay. As predicted, it is a little bit troublesome. I can only get the bolt out so far with the Allen key. I think the only answer is try to rotate it in the slot with a pair of pliers or whatever you've got to hand. There you go. It was only one turn away by the looks of it. Right. I'm not sorting that in now then. Hmm. It's possibly old grease holding it in now. I'm going to see if we can loosen it up. Try this bit of wood. Ah, we've got movement. If I'll pull out the other end. There we go. I best keep it orientated the right way. I don't want to mess these things up, do we? We we. <laughs> Leave that there. Now this should come off, or at least lift up, I imagine. Yes. No. Well, it's still being troublesome. It's not giving up yet, even after removing the gib or the jib strip. You'll have to tell me how it's pronounced. It won't. It won't release. We need to rotate that brass nut in there. Luckily, the engineers at Colchester have thought about that, and it looks like it's a five sixteenths Whitworth. Interestingly, it's the exact same found on that red. Handle there, it's the same thread, so they must have used some common threads when they was building it. So, I made one because these are not things you have hang hanging about, are they? So, I've made one. He says, Does it fit? I'm getting better at this. So if I get that nice and tight, give it a good oiling. Hopefully it'll rotate. I think I can knock it in a bit as well. There she goes. So if I can rotate that somehow now. So I've tightened that in all the way, and as you can just about see the nut, can't you? Hopefully. I now need to rotate that, there's a little mark, a little flat. There. That will now come out. Well, uh, so let's see. You take that apart. You've got to rotate it. Right, I'm gonna give that a good cleaning. Mystery solved.
close inspection of the components tells me there's not much work luckily on mine just needs a damn good cleaning up so I hope that was of interest and help to somebody who's also thinking of stripping it down it gives you half an idea now well thanks for viewing and come back again you can put it back yourself I'm not doing it Ha, 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 ha.